So we're going to add a second op G55 to our existing program. We are not going to write a separate program. They're going to be in the same program. So I have my current program selected. I'm going to press CAM, ICN, come all the way down to the bottom. And there's a couple ways to do this. Here's how I'm going to do it. The first thing I'm going to start out with is um, a comment, just to, to talk of to say this is the dividing point. So we're going to insert uh, other comment, and I'm just going to put it in caps: op2 slash g55 slash back. Now, to have consistency in comments, I probably should have had the comment at the top of op1 to say op1 g55 front. Um, but I don't think that's what I used. But this is what I'm going to put here, except. So now I have a dividing point where I know where op2 is fixing to start. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a tool in here. Because what I need is I need a point to search and start from. And I don't want to start with the G55. I want to start with the tool change from a known good existing work coordinate system G54. So I'm going to, I need to escape one, insert tool. I'm going to press tool. Hmm. I'm using t the taller tools on this, aren't I? You guys would be using tool one. I need to figure out what tool I'm using. 15? Yep. Yes, the four flute. Okay. A couple things I'm changing, guys, as I use these um, Haas face mills is I finally pushed this thing up to 500 SFM, which gave me a 950 RPM. So uh, nice, beautiful blue chip. So that is a change. The tool is still two inches wide. I'm going to hit accept. And it's an actual tool change. Yes. Because I want the op stop of this. Good. All right. That doesn't make sense. Yes, it does. Well, I'm looking up at the top and I see where that tool 20 is. This is such a, a terrible example. I no longer am using that seven fluid end mill. After I buried it in the part on this machine, I went and finally got the last end mill in. So program after the change there. Okay, so I just changed tools. Now I'm going to call up G55. Can I ask why you changed tools before you call up G55? Yes, so why did I change tools before G55? I needed a searchable um, operation in the program, and if I put it after G55, G54 was never active. So the machine can go to weird places. It'll so it, go to like G55 home or like safe plane, but you don't know where that is. Yes, it behaves it behaves oddly. So I'm gonna this is a best practice in my um, estimation of how to do this. Go with a I'm changing tools with an existing work coordinate system, then I'm gonna throw in a a work offset change. And you chose 15 just out of randomness or that, that's a specific tool that you No, no, um, yeah, correctly. You guys are using tools one through five. My intent here on this machine is I don't want to mess up your tool numbers and your tool definitions. So I started my tools up at um, 15, 16, 17, 18, okay, 19, okay. 20, just so I'm not interfering with you. Okay, I should have made that a little more clear here. So yes, this would be your tool one your face mill, because there's two operations we're going to do here, guys. We're going to face to thickness, and uh, we're going to edge break. Okay, so let's go ahead and put that uh, tool path in there now. Oops, I didn't, sorry, I didn't hit accept, did I? Inserts, other, M and G code. Golf, 55, F10. That's what I meant to do. Now, 
Let's start our facing. Where is my micrometer? Right here. So my theoretical part size is what, guys? Do you remember? My part, my stock was one inch. My part was 755. 0.8775, because we have our part and then the stock on top of it, which should be 0.1225. What am I seeing? What am I seeing? It says incremental. I just want to catch you guys doing that one time. What do we need? You don't need to use incremental. Okay, so my part right now measures... Seven, eight, seven, two, eight, seven, three. My, my part measures eight, seven, three with micrometers. My final part is seven, five, five points. Well, uh, can I get my calculator up here? Everybody can see it. Yes, we can. Point eight, seven, five minus point seven, five, five. So I have 120 thou I want to take off of this side. Isn't that 0.8775? What did I say? You said 875. Let's do it again. Actually, I got 0.873 on my micrometer. 0.873 minus 0.755 finished part thickness. 118 thou is what's coming off this side. Now we planned for 0.1225, so this is within the realm of, of error. So we're going to take off 118 thou. Let's do it in two passes, shall we? Oh, I should have left that up there. 0.118. My tool has a 30 thou, 31 thou tool nose radius, so I'm going to subtract that. So there's my roughing. I'm going to do it in two passes, an 87 and a 31. That way I'll do a roughing and a finish pass. Okay, so stay with me, folks. So now that I have my tool change, let's put a cycle in there. Face, start position, negative 4.112. I'm going to go ahead and call it an eighth because that's a weird number. I'm going to change this up just a little bit, guys. I'm going to start it instead of positive an inch. I'm going to go positive three quarters. I'm going to take more off on this first pass than we did previously. Surface height. Where's the surface height of my part? In relationship to zero, Z zero. Surface height of my part. Right now, it's at 118 thou above Z0. That's where it's going to find stock. Super important. How far it's going to face is going to be this distance from the middle times two. So eight and a quarter. And my width, how much do I want you to go? I'm not going to go that far. I'm going to go negative 0.75. I'm going to graph this and see what it looks like. It's going to take a roughing depth of 87 thou. My step increment, since I'm only going 0.75, this number can be, and I'm going to face in two passes. I'll go ahead and put 0.75 also. <coughs> Feed rate. Okay, let's recalculate my feed rates because I have a new SFM. So we're doing 950 RPM times four flutes times 5,000 chip load. So I'm doing a 19 inches per minute. Yep, 19 inches a minute feed rate. Where you at? Where you at? 19. Plunge rate. I'm going to set my plunge rate a little slower. All right, let's graph this. 
something new here, guys. I'm going to graph. When I hit graph, it's going to want to graph op1. So I don't want to graph op1. I'm going to press F8, and I want to graph only operation 24. Set range 24 through 24. Okay. So it looks like my first pass is going to be three quarters of an inch from the center. And then my second one's going to take off the rest of it. I want to see what that looks like on a on an actual pass here. I think it's going to be fine. So when you hit grab, you had to hit something different. They just hit that only, there's an only button. I, I, I was yep, writing. roger that. We'll do that again.